will lead you to a secret place. Oh my gosh, that's the olive poster. What is this? They will see. Whoa, what happened to Blue? Wait, his <laughs> Blue's got his head ripped off. Oh my gosh, bioventilation is here too. Look what we have here. Rainbow Friend Concepts has finally updated after its week long break, and they have added the new olive morph. Look at that. And also, I would like to mention before starting the video, Andy Torres, our newest channel member, thank you so much for your channel description. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Andy Torres. I really do appreciate your channel membership. Now let's head over and find this new olive skin. You might be saying, where is this olive skin? Well, uh, with this olive skin comes a new area on the map. The areas on the map right now is this pond area. That's where you get lavender in the theater place. That's where you get vial ventilation. In the city area, uh, there's a city area. Next to the city area, there is a forest place. This forest place doesn't inhabit any new moors. Uh, believe it or not, the new morph is actually not in the forest place. It's actually in the city area behind this little crevice over here. I'm pretty sure there's a vent you could go through. Yeah, there's a vent you could go through behind one of the buildings in the city. And when you go inside of the vent, this will lead you to a secret place. Oh my gosh, that's the olive poster. What is this? They will see. Whoa, what happened to Blue? Wait, his <laughs> Blue's got his head ripped off. Oh my gosh, bioventilation is here too. Let's go reset ourselves and equip the new olive skin. And also, guys, if you haven't liked yet, uh, I would appreciate if you guys would like and subscribe. That would be very, very helpful. Thank you very much if you do. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. Here we have the olive skin over here. Here is the olive skin. Oh my goodness. This is creepy. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it does have a badge description. I do want to read that out uh, for a bit. But before we read it out, I do want to showcase, obviously, I do want to showcase the olive skin itself. So the olive skin has a very weird body shape. It has four super long arms, super long limbs, I have to say. And he walks like some a spider i guess it walks so weird like a sloth let's go check out the jump scare it has oh my goodness that is creepy wait let's go check out the jump scare again i did i didn't get to see the full jump scare because i just slammed my head against the wall let's see this oh my gosh so it stands up for a brief period of time and just slams on the ground that is creepy I wonder what this is based off. Maybe a spider. I mean, it's not a spider because obviously it has four legs. And I want to go check out the badge description. The badge description for it is... The badge description says for the new Olive skin, it says right here, Olive, a forgotten member of the Rainbow Friends. He was a massive failure. After his debut, he was tossed away forever to rot. Nobody knew what happened after that. And, and it will remain a mystery. So I'm guessing this Olive morph might be part of the actual rainbow friends gang i'm not sure about that because the backstory did mention the rainbow friends however that could just be part of the plot part of the story for the olive skin uh it could very well that olive you know be a rainbow friend and rainbow friend in the next chapter of rainbow friends here we could have hmm, well let's see what other morphs that we have because obviously the olive skin might be one of my new favorite morphs maybe my top three possibly Obviously, my favorite morph is Maroon because I love dragons. Dragons are my thing, man. I really do love dragons. Look at this dragon. I mean, Maroon just looks so great. The creator obviously spent a ton of time on Maroon and all the Actually, he spent a ton of time on all of his morphs. All of his morphs are super well made, super creative. And it's just all based off of his creativity. Such a unique game because it doesn't copy off other models that that's already provided on the internet like the regular Rainbow Friends, orange, green, purple, and red, blue. But this one just creates its own color and its own more for the color. And let's check out the jump scare for Maroon. I mean, just a perfect looking jump scare, man. Super sick looking. Now let's head over to the next game, which is official accurate Rainbow Friends roleplay. We are now in accurate Rainbow Friends roleplay. Obviously, we're gonna click start to actually be inside. So this is the first original Rainbow Friends roleplay. This is the game that started all of the Rainbow Friends roleplay. And they have added back the real life version of Purple outside of his vent. Yes, it is finally black. I'm pretty sure it's back without the lag issues, right? 
So purple was gone for a brief period of time because of the lag it caused. Oh my gosh, I'm still lagging. So it still causes a ton of lag. But now we get to at least experience how purple would look like when he's outside of the vent. Just look at that. Super creepy, man. I wish they added the jump scares for it too. Doesn't this purple have a jump scare? It's also in its Spider-Man form. Look at this. Uh, look at this idol stance. The idol stance is a Spider-Man stance. Look. Look at that. <laughs> he has his arm on the ground. His other arm is in the air like Spider-Man. Or maybe some kind of uh, ape-like stance. Oh, let's see over here. Is there anything new? Oh, I guess this is just the original accurate Rainbow Friends roleplay. There's obviously unused character, the pink character. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at pink. I mean, at least we have the jump scare back. I really just do miss the jump scare. I'm pretty sure they had the jump scare up here, right? Or is that something else? I'm not sure. Let's go check out the jump scare for it. Yeah, this is the original pink jump scare. And inside of the jump scare, you can actually move with it too. Look at this. You can move with the jump scare. Usually the games, they only have a standstill jump scare. So what's the difference between a standstill jump scare and a regular jump scare is that a standstill jump scare, you can only uh, remain idle and you know, do the jump scare action. But a regular jump scare like this, you can move around and use the jump scare. Look at that. This guy did it at the same time too. We both jump scared and just move. Oh my God, we did it again. Wait, this guy's just copying everything I do. Wait. Okay, never mind. Okay. It can't happen a third time, right? That happened two times in a row. The first time, totally unplanned. Second time, even more unplanned. Because the second time, there was a brief, you know, period where I could have jump scared first. He could have jump scared first. And somehow we jump scared at the same time. He's still following me. That's such a cool thing. I've never experienced that before. Someone just jump scaring at the same time. I wonder if there's any little easter eggs hidden around the map, right? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. So this castle area, I, I've been thinking ever since I played the Rainbow Friends game, ever since uh, the Rainbow Friends game released, what does this castle area mean? Is it for a specific Rainbow Friend? Because I'm pretty sure different parts of the map are for different Rainbow Friends. And this could be for sure because of this computer room. Obviously, red is inhabited in here. This is his workstation. We have orange, which is over here inside of orange's hideout and obviously green is in the basement area i'm pretty sure and blue thrives inside of the theater and then my guess is that maybe just maybe that the castle area may inhabit another rainbow friend that could very well be a possibility because as i said before different areas of the map inhabit different rainbow friends oh my god that's someone using the purple morph he's super happy to use it again uh, this is one of the first games to actually have a real life version of purple, a, per a version of purple outside of the vent. Because usually other games they only have purple inside of the vents, but this one had the full size version of purple. Alright guys, that's it today. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Bye!